What's up everybody? I know it's been a while since we've had a Lucky Lagoon 25 update. Um, it's really just because not much has been going on. I guess I've got a few things happening now that I want to show you. Um, but besides that, you know, things have been growing like normal. Um, we did go through a hurricane. So if you follow me on Instagram, you've been up to date with everything, you know. I post a lot on Instagram, like daily, if not hourly, <laughs> on Instagram. So if you wanna check me out there, it's the same name, Carolina Shore Fishing. So there, yeah, I can post stories and stuff there, which I keep people updated. And I think now YouTube has a feature like that. So I'll, I'll look into that and see if I can use that as well. Um, but yeah, just, you know, normal growth happening in the tank. And I just met up with somebody in the, uh, area local um, reef group on Facebook and he had some corals that he was gonna sell they actually have a reef swap going on today but I couldn't attend that you know uh, just have you know school work to get done but I did meet up with him for you know fantastic deal on these coral give you guys a look at them right now so take a look at that look at that Monty is probably the size of my hand um, if my hand were down in that insecticide water. Dipping it right now and revive. Should always do that, dip your coral. But yeah, I picked up this huge Monty for him, from him, and uh, also picked up a nice little colony of these, I don't know what kind of mushrooms they are, but they are bright. They look nuclear, I swear. They're like uranium or something. I don't know, but they look fantastic, um, but also, I've been dipping them for a little while here. I need to probably rinse them off and get them in to the tank. I want to show you the back side of the Monty. You should take a look here and make sure there aren't any eggs because I don't know what it is. Oh, it's nudibranch that usually eat Monty. So you look around, nudibranch usually have spiral eggs. You've seen me deal with the Zoa eating kind in my five gallon as well as here in the lagoon, uh, which we'll get to. I want to put the filter over that. but. You know, I see here a little Asturina, I think that's what they call these, little star right here. I started removing those because I noticed in the tank that, you know, they were just multiplying like nothing, just like rabbits, you know, as one of my fathers put it. But yeah, there's one of those I'm going to remove and just looks like maybe vermited snail shells everywhere. And then we just look around for eggs and stuff. Um, looks like a couple little snails there. Couldn't leave those, they won't be a harm to the tank, but yeah, let's take care of that and get it in. All right, I'll give you guys a nice little top-down look here. And this is what I picked up just today. This Idaho Grape Monte Capricornus, and just look at how big it is. So, you guys know me, I'm a Brooke College student, so I must have gotten a great deal, right? So that's sort of my point here, is get in touch with your community around you. You'll definitely find out uh, that there are some really great giving people out there. And I accidentally fragged it here upon putting it in. No biggie, probably gonna have to frag it up a little more. Um, right now my intentions are to um, mount it right here where the acans are, where the acan garden is. So. It'll sort of go right here on this branch at an angle, if we can get it like that. And you'll see I moved the plate, I actually moved the plate here a few days ago. It was not um, a move because of this. I think I, I reset the, or I put new settings on the AI Prime here. And I think it may be a little too powerful for the plate coral. They're a low light coral. So I moved their way into the corner here where this plate is because the tongue plate is doing pretty well. What's not doing well, um, and it's the only thing that's not doing good, are the euphilia. And they're not opening up as full as they used to. And that's something I noticed um, with two things, you know, changing the light setting to a little bit stronger of a setting. And, um, the hurricanes, when they came through, they knocked out power for a little bit. And since then, I noticed as well that this, at least this uh, octospawn has not been open as full. But, you know, that's the only thing. Like, look at, look at the watermelon chows right here. Look at the growth on that. 
pretty much covered up that whole disc plug. Picked up this rainbow chalice at a swap in September. I don't think you guys have seen that. And that has grown nicely. Um, when I picked it up, it didn't have any of that green or orange rim on it. So uh, it's only been a month in this tank, I think. Or no, two months now. Um, so yep, there's that. And the, uh, I think I found out this one might be called the Ludicrous Chalice. That one's grown beautifully as well. You know, that one was growing really quick before the watermelon was, and then the watermelon just took off. It was crazy. Um, this nice little red A-can right here, it's growing up nice. Um, when I got it, it had one large head, that, that one right there on the left, and a couple small ones, I think. Now it's probably got upwards of like 10 heads on it. I got that one at the swap, um, similar swap. There's a swap going on today, but just like I said, didn't have time to make it. And there's another little A-can frag that I got. It's grown out nice. Um, here's another one. Now look, the uh, mushrooms are starting to open. Look at these. I don't know what they're called. You guys might know, but I, I like calling them nuclear. They look really vivid. Duncan's right here in the corner have been growing real nicely, just multiplying like crazy. And I've got two species, so this longer tentacle one right here, and then this shorter tentacle one. I personally like the uh, longer tentacle. Then the Monty here, this is encrusting a little more. Uh, I've been dealing with a couple of these little bald spots here that generally come and it tells me I need to change the water. Um, once I change the water, it heals up. So I need to get better about not letting it get um, to that point where it's showing me I need to do a water change. And I'm doing them about once every week and a half. Try to do them every week, and it gets pretty difficult. And here are the mushrooms. Hopefully they'll be all right right there while I get the Monty settled in for a few weeks before I mounted up there. Um, you can see there's like a couple little mushroom frags down there. Like that one in the middle that you're looking at is supposed to be a really nice one. When I first got it, it had just like three or four different colors on it, but it hasn't been grown and neither has that green little Recordia. I think those, not Recordia. Uh -uh. Rodactus, I think is what those are. And I got that Recordia has butt off a little bit right here, so I should have a new mushroom soon. But yeah, that's it, you know, tank's been going well. I haven't gotten another fish um, since the leopard wrasse died. Uh, I've just been chilling with the little clowns here in the Yashagobi. This is just hiding away under the rocks there. Uh, maybe we can get that on camera. Nope, I'm not gonna show itself. But yeah, that's it. Uh, not too much has changed. Still running the little mini fuge in the back. Uh, the lights come on during the off hours. Um, but I haven't had, you know, high nitrates or phosphates, so it started dying off. I need to start dosing fuel a little more. But yeah, that's it. All right, guys, catch y'all later in the next update, and happy reefing.